That just screams flavor, summer, freshness. The chicken is so darn juicy and tasty. The marinade has done it wonders. The anchovy salt is present, but my word, it's, it's not overwhelming. It's, it's absolutely singing. Crispy and succulent bite-sized pieces of chicken that's amped with umami flavor. The use of anchovy salt in this recipe transforms your ordinary fried chicken to one that will have the kernel shaking in his boots. <laughs> Let's make my Vietnamese popcorn chicken. Let's put the E's in Vietnamese. I think fried goodies like chips, nuggets and salted fish, well, they make the perfect beer snack. The fried chicken I'll be making today is super versatile. You can serve it with sweet chilli sauce on the side or you can make a, a bit of a meal of it by serving them in rice paper shears with lettuce cuts, Vietnamese herbs and you know my favourite, favourite dressing, the nook mum, a Vietnamese dipping sauce. So I've got some chicken thighs here that I've just cut up into well popcorn sized pieces, nice and bite sized. If you don't like duck meat, you can also use chicken breast or chicken tenderloins, but let's get marinated. I'm gonna start with my famous, and something I really strongly recommend, a savory umami trio, and it involves anchovy salt, fish sauce, and sea salt. Let's get it in. So anchovy salt, so sea salt that's been immersed in good quality fish sauce. It's also been aged for about a year. So lots of strong flavors. Fish sauce, splash of that. Good quality one, of course. Garlic powder. Chinese fast spice powder. Bit of sea salt. And some sugar. I'm gonna mix that through. So just gonna mix that through. And when using my umami trio recommendation, please keep in mind that they all contain salt. So you, don't, you can easily over season your dish if you're not using it correctly. My rule of thumb though is use anchovy salt as like an MSG substitute. So you know it's gonna give a little bit of salt but also give that umami flavor. We're gonna let this marinate for about an hour but for best results, pop it in the fridge and you know what, let it nap overnight. In the meantime, I'm gonna prepare a seasoned dry batter. In with some plain flour. Now, it's always important to season your dry batter, otherwise the outside crispy crust have no flavour to it. You guessed it. Bit of anchovy salt. Just a touch. Beautiful. Some sea salt as well. Perfect. I want to give that a, just a, a brief mix, just to mix it all around. Perfect, so that's about as nice a mix. I'm gonna put that to the side as well. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna beat an egg, okay? So having the egg, that's gonna be really important to have that egg in the marinade. The egg's gonna coat the chicken, which in turn will allow the flour to stick to the egg. Nice and easy, we're gonna mix that into the chicken and then dredge it with our dry seasoned batter. And guess what? We just have to fry at around 180 degrees in some neutral cooking oil. And today, I'm using canola. Let's get frying. Look at that, I'm surprised. <laughs> the kernel hasn't already knocked on my door. I gotta get into one straight away. Let me just quickly put these, oh, stuff it. I'm gonna get in. Sweet chili sauce. Mmm. That is sensational. Wow. I'm gonna finish this off. Beautiful, if you wanna make it fancy and pop it in a cup and make it real, really make it look like Duncan fried chicken, you can do that too. Wow, let's get rid of this. Now, that is fine as is with some sweet chili sauce, or even, you can even do like a lemon, salt and pepper dip, that's delicious. All right, it's a great beer snack. 
you know, pop the babies in, give it a whirl. But if you want to stretch the meal a bit, you know, grab some rice paper sheets. Now these are instant rice paper sheets. Perilla, bit of cucumber, a bit of bun hoi, which is fine, fine rice vermicelli cakes. And if you can't get the instant rice paper sheets, just use uh, any normal rice paper rolls or just go straight with the uh, lettuce, lettuce wraps. Pop some chicken in. And let's wrap this bad boy up. Look at that. These instant rice paper sheets do not require any dipping in water. They are super thin, so will soften at the exposure of any type of moisture. Dunk it like Duncan does. This is my Nook Mum. Beautiful. Look at that. Mmm. That just screams flavour, summer, freshness. The chicken is so darn juicy and tasty. So if you love fried chicken, give this recipe a whirl and spice up your next meal with my Vietnamese popcorn chicken. Go on. We all know, you know what to do by now. Do yourself a favour for flavour. <laughs>